Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, meeting. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me. Please, if you can, you can just comment. Hi, we can hear you so that we can now proceed. You can just say in the comment section, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, welcome to this, um, our launching of the course, Manual Design and Detailing. So in this section, in this video today, we are going to be talking about what you are going to be getting in this course, the detail of the course. But before we go into that, let me first of all introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sheriff Dean Adeyemi. So I'm a PG student. I'm studying, currently studying on um, water and environmental engineering, area of civil engineering. But I have a lot of experience in structural engineering. So I actually, I'm practicing, I'm a practicing structural engineer. So I've worked with consultancy firm, construction firms, oil and gas, IWE, water, the list goes on and on. So, and also regarding to this meeting, I am uh, I am the co-founder of Chevgen Academy. So I'm sure you'll have, some of us here will have learned or will have taken one or two courses from us. So thank you for joining, I really appreciate. So let's go to today's business. So I'll be sharing my screen now so that we can all see what I will be discussing about. So just give me some few minutes to do that. So I'm sharing my screen now. I hope you can all see it. Please, if you can, you can just comment so that we know that you are with me. Please, if you can see my screen, you can just comment so that we know that you are with me, please. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I'm sure all of us have seen this advert. So we are trying to run a program for 30 days of manual design plus detailing. So I know we all know about manual design actually. So that is what we, we've learned or we've been taught when we were in undergraduate studying civil engineering, or even if you are a builder, or you get as a building student, you learn a little bit about structural design. So this manual design is very important because it allows you to understand what you are doing as a professional. I hope you get it. So it allows you to interpret the design, allows you to control a lot of things. So it's not just about using softwares. So this course is one of the first course that we made at Chevgen Academy when we start creating uh, design videos about three years ago. So, but we thought that maybe if we rebranded the course and added some other things, it will make it more uh, better. So that is why we are launching this. Um, we wanted to finish the course in 30 days. We know it might be more than that, but let's just uh, plan for 30 days. So this course is basically going to be three. It's a three package course. So I divided it into three and then we now package out of the three courses, we are going to be combining two as the minimum. Then you can now have, if you want to combine the three, you can do so. I will be explaining more on that as we go in this uh, presentation. So I know we all, some of us know about Chevgen Academy. We are structural engineers, practicing structural engineers, and we are also instructors. So we provide instructions or we provide courses on structural design majorly for now, even though we are working on a course on highway design that will be out maybe before the mid of this year. It's very difficult to create course sometimes. So, but to, so as man, as Chevgen Academy, we have, um, we have a quite number of students that have taken our course. 
if we do the mathematics, it will be about more than 1,000 now. We are grateful for that. And I'm sure about a number of percentage of us will have um, will have taken one or two courses from us. So the course we are presenting today is manual design plus detailing, and it is actually focusing on reinforced concrete parts. So this course, this manual design, we know in Nigeria, we have two basic code that we use for design. We have the BS code, which is the most common one and the oldest one that we've been using because we are colonized by Britain, so we still use the British code. But nowadays, as life is evolving, everything is changing, so there is still what we call the Euro code. So the Euro code was introduced, though the Euro code have taken some time, like it has been introduced a long time ago, more than 20 years ago. But the usage has now become so rampant in which across European countries, they are not even using the British standard again. And even in some universities in Nigeria, we now teach with the, BA, with the European code, I hope you get. So that is why this our course is going to be for the, two, for the two code. We have the one for the British code, and we also have the one for the Euro code. So, but before we go into the course, let's talk about what you will need for this course, the course requirement. The thing is that uh, we said it's manual design, but the problem here is that the course is not really a problem. This course is going to be an online course. I hope you get so for you to able to design it so that we can reach a lot of people at the same time. I hope you get so that is why we are making it online. For now, we don't we don't want to engage in physical classes. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of things, and we are still engaging in other things. I hope you get. So the requirement that you need for this course is you need a laptop. Any laptop, minimum of four gig RAM is okay because the only thing you'll be running on it is AutoCAD and that's all. Then you also need AutoCAD. So we usually recommend 2010 upward because for a lower version like 27, you have a lot of um, you have a lot of um, things that you can do, a lot of programs that you might not be able to run. Then you also need Microsoft Office. The reason is because, you know, it's a manual design. You have to have a way in which you do your computations. I hope you get. So let's now go to the course outlines. So as I've told you, this course is three package. It's three different courses, but we are going to package it into three sections. You are going to understand it later. So, but let me just run through the course content for each of the part of the courses. So the first one is manual design using the BS code. So this course, what we are going to be doing here is that we are going to have an architectural design, starting with an architectural design. Then from the architectural design, we create structural layout out of the architectural design. So when you do your structural layout, you will have divided the buildings into different structural components, where you have the slab, beam, column, staircase, and foundation. So when we now do the layout, we now start with the slab design. So this, all the designs are going to be presented using um, PowerPoint. So you see all the calculations are they are being done. We are not using software for this class. So that's why it's manual. So you learn about how to analyze your load from the start, how to load the loadings on the slab, and then how to analyze slab. Once you finish the analysis, you learn about design of slab. That is to the BS code. Then you learn about the detailing of a slab, like detail the whole slab individually. You know, most of the softwares that we have usually give us details, like proto structures, ETAPs, uh, and the new one that we have now, which is um, which is um, Revit, can also provide reinforcement detail. But the purpose of the manual part of it is so that you can understand it and you can also do it yourself and appreciate what you are getting from the software and sometimes correct the software. I hope you get it because most it's not just about knowing how to use softwares, it's about understanding what you are doing and be able to interpret. I hope you get it. So then after this lab, we talk about the staircase, the analysis part, the design part, and also. We also have the beam analysis and design, 
column analysis and design and foundation. So this project, this course manual design to the BS code is not just designing randomly the structural element. We are going to be designing it with respect to a project. I hope you get so that's what distinguished this. And one of the sample projects we'll be having is this. This is one of the projects that students used to work on. Because each of these courses, you have students' projects. So we have a project that the instructor is going to be working on. The instructor is going to be designing with so that you understand. Then we also give student projects so that you can also practice. And you are going to be seeing a lot of other things as we go on in this video. So that is for BS code, the manual design to the BS code. Then we also have the second one, which is manual design to the Euro code. Actually, this course, we created this course just last year, I think around February of last year, yes, around this time last year is when we launched this manual design to the Euro code. So the course is so detailed because it's a new course. And then it's a uh, well packaged and it's it's one of the best courses that we have. So let me just put it like that. Not in terms of the teaching, but in terms of clarity, simplicity, I hope you understand. So this manner designed to the real code because the real code is new. So we have to introduce it. So just like the way you learn BS code, where, you, where they start introducing what the BS code mean, the philosophy of the design to the BS code and all of that. So we do the same thing for Euro code. So even if you don't know anything about Euro code before, this course is perfect for you. So, and some of the content there is introduction to the Euro code itself, design concepts and the actions on structures. So there's a little bit difference between loading on Euro code and BS code. It's not really different like that, but there are some other uh, little, little additions that you might find in the Euro code that you might not find. And there are some changes in formulas and all of that. So it's important. Then you also understand the design parameters. You can see that the first content there is just about the Euro code because we know it's new. So that's why we introduced it about maybe 10 or 15 videos on does that. Then we now have, we now come to the practical part. You know, most of our courses on Chevron Academy is a practical course, unless maybe some courses that uh, is very difficult to attach practice to. But when the course is something that you can attach practice to, then most of them are practical courses. So just like the way we do for, we did for the BS code, we are going to have a project for this Euro code as well. So this project is, so when I was creating this Euro code, I thought about doing something different. So we work with a commercial building. For the BS code, we work with a residential building. It's still the same thing. We explained, even if you take the BS code, you can still design a commercial building. Everything is the same approach. It's just some little, little differences. So you create a structural layout for that building that we picked for this example. Then just like the BS code, we explain the structural analysis, distribution, loading, and all of that. And some little, little adjustments that you don't have in the BS code that the Euro code explains. Then we talk about slab analysis and design, staircase analysis and design, beam analysis and design, column analysis and design, foundation. And we also have detailing rules because we have some little uh, differences in detailing prescribed by the Euro code and the ones that you see in the BS code. So that's why we attach this last part, detailing rules and application so that you can understand. So that is the second part of, the, of this course that we are launching today. Then the third part is the detailing part. You know, you say manual design plus detailing. So if you look at these two course content very well, you see what we are de dealing with majorly there is a... Uh, I can see that some people are not hearing me. Okay, it's not too clear, sorry. Okay, maybe it's too fast. I think the, the video is a little bit uh, slow. That's what I can say. Sorry for that, please, but I'm sure you catch along. So we have detailing rules and application. So we explain the detailing part of the Euro code. Like if actually the Euro code does not really have a standard for detailing, just like we have in the PS code too. There's no really like a clear cut uh, rules, but you can have detailers manual 
details manner also like they extract information from the code and then they combine it with practical experience so that's how they form most of the detailers manual so we also have some detailers manual for the euro code and for the bs code you are going to be seeing all of that so that is why we have the detailing part so, so that we aside from the design we can still understand you know detailing most generally as a structural engineer you are not supposed to be the one to be doing the detailing i hope you get if you are in a established setup as a structural engineer you'll be the one to do what well, your work is to uh load the structural member you analyze it you design it then you give the output to draft men so draft men are the guys that are supposed to do the detailing but you know in nigeria uh, you have to know everything you have to be able to do everything i hope you get so that is why whenever we are teaching design we also used to teach detailing as well. So detailing of, but before we go to the detailing, for the Euro code, this is the project that the instructor is going to be working on. So this project is a, is a, is an, a, is a commercial building and it was actually designed by our, our consulting branch at Chevin Academy. So we are using this project as a, to teach the Euro code. So we work on this project. You see the design of every element from the slab, the beam, staircase, column, foundation, roof, everything you are going to see. So then the third part of the course is structural detailing. So this one, even though we've talked about some detailing rules in the BS code, in the Euro code, but for you to now see the actual detailing itself, I hope you get how you can do it on AutoCAD. So this is where AutoCAD is important. You need AutoCAD in the first part to create structural layout and then to divide your members into panels so that you can design them. But this second part is all about detailing. That, that is manual detailing with AutoCAD. So we are going to be de dealing with detailing of slab. You know, we've learned design of slab from the start. But in this case, we now covered a lot of things aside from just what is inside the project you learn about solid slab detailing raft slab irre irregular shape slab like when your when your slab is not rectangular or square in shape there are some guidelines on how to detail it then when your slab has an opening like you have a slab opening where you want to put pipes or something like that or anything that you uh, mechanical devices that you might want to attach to the slab so then we talk about detailing of beam, simply supported, continuous beam, deep beam, everything will be explained. Then we also have detailing of column, which is quite straightforward. Then we also explain the detailing of shear wall. When you are dealing with buildings with uh, more than three or four suspended floor, you might need a shear wall. So how to detail it? I see most people will just bring out the detailing from softwares like Prota and just print it like that. So it does not make sense. You need to understand how the reinforcement works. So that is why sometimes drawings produced by engineers are not used in construction site. Uh, it's not completely the fault of the contractor, but sometimes the design engineer can be at fault or the detailer. Let's just say the detailer, but in this case, we know it is the engineer that is also detailing. I hope you get. So we talk about the detailing of shear wall, staircase, uh, foundation detailing, and then some interesting part of this thing is the bar bending schedule. <laughs> you need to know how to prepare bar bending schedule. It's very important. Especially if you want to stand out. You know, some projects, you just copy all the schedule from the software and everything will just look somehow. It will not even reflect the project. I hope you get So if you learn how to do it manually, you can correct the software or you can even generate your own. I hope you get Then the last part is the putting drawing to sheet. So the reason why we had this is not actually part of, it's part of detailing, but it's not really technically part of it. This is just how you can use AutoCAD actually. But we find out that most people does not even know how to correctly put drawings to sheet. You just see drawings that are not to scale. They will just do everything anyhow, just to fit inside the paper, I hope you get. So it does not really make sense. I don't really, I'm not always happy whenever I see it design engineer or, or a structural engineer producing a drawing that is not to scale and just put the uh the 
the members or the details anyhow up again so you are going to learn about that so that is why we put this under the structural detailing content so these are the three courses that we have under this package that we want to treat in 30 days so we have the manual design to the bs code to come again we have the manual design to the euro code and we also have the structural detailing Okay, the display is not clear. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be sharing this uh, file. I'm going to be sharing it to the group. Okay, let me just, maybe I can increase it a little bit. Can you see it now? Is it a little bit clear now? Please. Please, you can give me a comment so that we know if it is a, a little bit clear now. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's not really clear, so I was just uh, into the video. Okay, okay, okay. This is recorded. You can you can watch the video again if you miss any part. So as I was saying, the course is three package: the manual design to the BS code the manual design to the Euro code, and we also have the structural detailing. So now let's now go to benefits of this course because it's not just about what I explained now that you learn about the design and then, you know, a lot of courses that we've made, we found out that maybe if 100 people get the course, about just five or 10 people used to complete it. And even if they complete, I hope you get, maybe you are busy, you know, sometimes as engineers, you might be very busy and all of that. Yes, it's, it's true. So that is why we, we set up some other things that are being attached to this course. And one of them is other course benefits. So one of them is the weekly live session with instructors. So we created a course on, uh, on structural design using structural design and detailing using software about two months ago. So, and then we attach this weekly live session with instructors. So what we see is we see a improvement in students' uh, response to courses. At least if it's not much, at least maybe out of 10% before, we now have like 40%. So it's something that is huge. So that's why every course we want to create now, we want to be having a weekly live session because with the weekly live session, you can have a recap of what you've learned over the week. And then if there's any other thing that is not clear, you can ask during the live session. It's not going to be a YouTube like this one. The reason we use YouTube for this one is because I think we have more than 500 people in the group. So, and some of the platforms for live sessions, for interactions like Zoom, we allow for only 100 students and Google Meet. So, we don't know. I'm no, I, I knew that not everybody will turn up anyway, but at least in case, you know, miracle can happen. So that's why we resort to using YouTube. So this live session is going to be on Zoom. So you can hear the instructor. You can ask questions verbally, not just by comments like this one. So, and then that is the purpose of the weekly live session. So to give assessment of what you've learned over the week, to ask questions, so that we not just share you the course and you'll be taking the course and there's no other assistance given. I hope you get So that is why we included this weekly live session. So every week when the course started, every week we'll be having a live session until the completion of it after 30 days. Then we also have this package, student progress tracking. That is, we are going to give you a course tracker. It's going to be an Excel package that will have let's say you get the course you want to get is bs code and detailing for example so we'll have sectioned all the uh course outlines maybe week one we put maybe 10 percent out of the course you must complete it in week one so we will have put the tracking date so that when you are lagging behind you know how to get you just input your name input the date you start the course how to get so that's how the course tracking will work and then you know if you are following or not. Then we also have correction of student projects. Like I said, each of these courses, the first one and the second one have 
student project. So when you are working on the student project, maybe you create a structural layout and you are not sure, or after, especially for novice. So you might not, you might be new to creating structural layout. So when you do it, you share it with the instructor, they check, and then they give you correction if needed. If there's no need for correction, then you proceed, help you get. Then you also have access to calculation sheet template. So for BS code, for Euro code, we have already designed calculation sheet. So once you get any of the costs, you are going to be having full access, not just for some time, full access to the calculation sheet for slab, beam, column, staircase, foundation, all of them. So you have access to the calculation sheet. Then you also have access to instructor for Q&A. This actually happens when we are having the live session, the weekly live session. Then, you know, we have a project for the courses. So you have a certificate of completion, but before you complete this, your certificate, uh, your, before you get this, your certificate of completion, there are some requirements that you have to make, which include completing the course project, submitting it for review. And then when it is reviewed and they see that you are okay, then you give you your certificate, simple as that. So, and then another interesting part is this course is a, I will have put it, is a, you have a lifetime access to it. That is, it's not that maybe after three months that you'll not be able to access it. No, it's a lifetime access. You, uh, you can ask a lot of students that have taken courses from us, they know once we share you the course, you only ask, you always have access to it anytime. And in case if you lose the access, you can request that we share you without paying any money, you are going to do that. Okay. Well, I think some some guys are not uh, really seeing the. Uh, I don't know why it's uh, is so blurry. Maybe I can't really say. Okay, but anyway, if you can hear, we are going to be uh, we are going to be explaining on the group again. So we we are just making this live session so that you can always uh, we can interact before you even say you want to get the course or not. I hope we get. So then, so let's now go to the course registration. So the way this course goes is, the course is going to be shared to your drive, to your mail. So once you pay for the course, you share it to your mail, and then you start learning from there. And then we add you to the group, to the course group, where you have access to the instructor, ask questions if there is need for any question. So let's now talk about the course registration. So as I said, this course is divided into three. So once you make payment for this course, it will be shared to your Google Drive. And from there, you can proceed. So this course, like I told you, we've divided into three package. So we have the first package, which is package A. I'm sure you can hear me, even if it is blurry. Well, I'm not using a phone, actually. I'm using a laptop. So, and I don't know why uh, it is uh, is not really showing clearly. But anyway, if you can see clearly, don't worry. We are going to be explaining. I'm going to drop this material exactly to the group again. And then I'm also going to put it into right top so that in case you don't see. And also share the video, this video, as it is from my own end. And share it again, please. Okay, let me just continue. So the first package is BS code plus detailing. So this one is 15,000 error. Then we have the second package, which is detailing, error code plus detailing. That one is 20K. And then we have, if you want the three package at a go, BS code, euro code, and detailing. That one is 28,000 error in order to get it. So, but if you go to our website now, chevdinacademy.com, you see the prices of this, of these courses. And if you add it up, you see is this, this pricing here are much more lesser. I hope you get So it's, it's an opportunity for you to get them now. 
at the cheapest price. I hope you get. So that is one of the reasons why we are launching it now. So if you want to make payments, you can pay to this account. I'm going to be sharing these details on the group anyway. And also, if you don't want to make transfer, you can use this payment method so that you can pay with your card anyway. And then lastly, before we go, I just want to say thank you for joining this our live section. I really appreciate uh, your time. So I will stop the sharing now and I will like to, if you have any question, please, you can ask your question, just comment the question, write the question in the comment. I will read it out and then I will give a response to them. Let's just do that maybe in the next 15 minutes and then we can end the section. No discount at all. There is discount. For example, the BS code, if you check our website, is uh, 10,000 Naira. The structural detailing is also 10,000. I hope you get. So we already discounted it. So are you going to provide the code? Yes. One of the things you have aside from the code is the materials. I hope you get. You have the cost material, which include the, like, for example, when we are taking the euro code, you have um, slide, PowerPoint slide. You have access to them. You have access to the code itself. Then you also have access to manuals. Like in euro code, we have design manuals for euro code. We have manuals, detailing manuals for the PS code. Okay, you have access to all of that. For those outside Nigeria, how do you pay? Well, outside Nigeria, you can message me privately on, like privately. We are going to set to that. Yes, you have access to all the materials. Maybe before we go, maybe I can share you the... Uh... Okay, when is the payment ending? Well, we are going to be launching, like we are going to be starting the class. You can start making your payment now. But the class will start uh, this week, Wednesday. That's when we are going to start it. So this week, Wednesday, and we allow the payment to go on to the end of the month. But after the end of the month, we will not allow any payment because, you know, I said we the cost is divided into weekly section. Okay, so if the time span of your payment joining the class is too wide, is too far apart, so it might be difficult for you to catch up. I hope you get. So that's why we not allow any payment after uh, the end of this month. What is the time for the class each day? Oh, okay. Maybe you not see my screen. The courses is online videos. I hope you get. They are online. They are recorded video that are available already. I hope you get. So we share this video file to you. So when we share it to you, you can you can start learning immediately. And then we'll be having a weekly, uh, like maybe in one week, what you should have covered. So during our weekly session then you will explain and see if almost everybody covered that. Then if you don't cover it, you know you are lagging behind. I hope you get it. So for the timing of the weekly session, maybe that's what you are talking about. It's going to be agreed upon by the students. Okay, uh, I think a class like this should be done in the night. Well, that won't depend on the students anyway. We can, the student will agree the time. I don't know. I want to know how to analyze the structure, like understanding when to apply certain code. Yeah, that's why it's a manual design. So you know which part of the code to apply, how to analyze the structure, load it based on the code you are using, either the BS code or you are using the Euro code. I'm preparing for exam, which won't allow me to concentrate now. Can I get this next time if I pay now? Yeah, sure. You know, I told you the courses are pre-recorded we have it already we are even selling them already anyway but we just package it and we want to add one or two things so that to make it more interesting and people can understand more i hope you get so you can get it now and take it anytime and then if you take it anytime you have access to instructor so that you can ask questions when you are working on it then you also have all access to course material and all of that. The only thing you might be missing is maybe the weekly live session. And you might even be joining. 
let's say your exam does not fall into the day you might be joining it and then when you are now ready to study how you get when you are ready to study then you can ask your question privately it will not necessarily be in the group again how you get okay please can help us subsidize the three combined uh no we cannot do that <laughs> If you add up the uh, if you add up the pricing on the one we have on our website, you will see that. Let me do the math. Eh? We've removed a about thirty percent already. So we've removed our thirty percent already. So that's the best price you can get. Okay, is there any other question? You can comment your question, please. Okay, but before we go, maybe I should share the um, the course folder so that you can see what is inside the courses. Before we go, I just share you so that you see what you want to get. But I don't know if it's going to be clear anyway because it's the clarity that is the problem. Okay, let me share this. Okay, I don't know if you can see my screen now. So if you are taking the euro code this is the euro code folder this is what you are going to see so you can see that the course is divided into four parts you have part one part two part three part four so each of these parts are recorded videos already you can see this is part four videos we have videos in part three part three is we have a lot of videos on part three then this is the code if you want to get the code this is the design code these are the calculation sheets for each of the structural elements. I hope you can see it though. Then you also have cost projects. So on inside this one, you see the cost project. You also see presentation PDFs, all the presentation that was presented when explaining the design. So everything is inside, you can have it. So the same thing applies to the manual design to, to the, B, to the uh, BS code as well. So it's everything you need is uh is explained. Okay, let me attend to some of the other questions. Uh is it going to be practical on site package? I mean not just theory based, because I believe by the end of the class one should be able to yes, I as I said, each of I don't know, maybe you just joined us. Each of the courses has a course project. I hope you get so you can. The course project is a is a real life project that will um, that will you design from the beginning, just like the way we do our normal design. You do your layout, design, analysis, design, detailing, and all of that. So it's a practical design. Does the course come with tutorial, especially using software and how it works? This is a manual design class, please. It's not this, it's not. If you want to learn software, you can go to our website, chefdinacademy.com. You see courses on software. The screen is blank here. Oh, sorry. I'm not seeing anything. I think uh, I cannot see it now. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to share this video again in the in the group. I don't know why the screen is not uh, really sharing like that. But anyway, that's it, Sha. So any other question before we end the section? The site? OK, maybe let me put the site on in the chat now. You can see. That's the site. You can just click on it. And then you land on our website, you see different courses. Okay. Any other question, please?
for those that can't see it i'm very sorry i don't know why uh it cannot be seen but we are going to give more detail in the whatsapp group again maybe later in the evening today i'm going to drop all the details that i've explained now so you are going to see it is there any other thing you want me to make clarification on thank you so much uh, thank you so much as well as a beginner which one is more important to begin with mana or software well if you're a beginner it depends the, we have different beginners let me just put it like this if you are for example let's say you are just an undergraduate you just finish and you're just looking for a way to practice so i will say you can start with manna design but we have some beginners that they are already guru in the field you know what i mean they are construction engineers they are site engineers i hope you get so if i will not recommend those kind of people to take a manual design course the reason is because those some do used to come and take it but the reason is just because i don't really see the essence too much because you're already practicing you know a lot of things i hope you get only maybe you are not sure of your knowledge eh, hey, you can take it but if you are a beginner beginner eh, hey, it's always good to go for manual first before you 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 learn about software like me personally when i was doing my it i was not allowed to use any software the only software i have then was autocad that was the only software i have and we were given a i'm just sharing this please sorry we were given a project that we have to complete individually i hope you get like when you start your it it's supposed to end in six months i suppose so they will give you a project that you must complete within three months. I hope you get And it is manual designs. So those are ways, if you are someone that wanted to start early, like you just want to start this design, it's good to learn the manual part. But if you are someone that have been working before, like you have a lot of experience and you've been on site for a, for a while, I will not recommend you to, to go for manual design because the class might be boring i'm just saying from experience i hope you get the class might because you have a lot of calculation and if you do not get down and start calculating yourself you might not really grab it i hope you get it's not just watching the video i hope you get but what is important is the practice so for someone that is already working like full time not maybe just graduated and doing maybe uh you are employed for a site engineer that you are not really doing major thing up get ahead so but if you are someone that is already in the process in the profession so i will not recommend you to take manual design course but you can take it if it's your interest because we have a lot of people that they just love to learn more i hope you get so that's just it that's my honest answer that i can give you any other question please i think there's none again So we are going to be ending the section here. So uh, I'm going to be sharing this on the group again. So those of us that find it difficult to see the screen, or maybe you not know even hear clearly, or the screen is black. So I will share it so that we can uh, watch it again, and then you can make your decisions. So thank you. Uh, we will we'll still meet in the group later in the evening. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.